why don't you take this moment right now and hit that subscribe button. It means the world to us. It keeps us motivated to keep making these videos for you, to keep traveling and keep exploring. And we hope to see you out here one day. All right, what was today like? Uh, travel. It has been a day. We are lost. <laughs> We're trying to check into our Airbnb in uh, Abud, Abud, Ubud. We don't know how to say it. And we got completely lost in um, the Uber because the address was apparently not right. And it also traffic is terrible. It took us like an hour to go one mile. And now we're here and we don't know how to get in and somebody was supposed to meet us, they're not here. It's beautiful, but um, it's complicated. You see anything memorable? Uh, oh, sorry baby. There you go. Um, what are you looking at now? Uh, the architecture is really interesting, what you can see in here. What was the favorite part of your day, Ivy? I think the cats. The cats here at the Airbnb? There's birds. I just found birds. Oh, hi, Bubba. Did you see the fish? Yeah. Is Bali like any place that you've ever been before? Uh, no. I'm over here. Yeah. What, what do you think, Kyron? What was your favorite part of today? Hello, kitty cat. Not so close. <laughs> Taking the stairs down to the river. We're gonna learn the history of how Hinduism came to Bali. In the royal palace, going from one courtyard to the other. It's so beautiful here. There are nine pavilions and tourists are allowed into two of them. to the busy streets. <laughs> Traffic here is legit terrible and so crowded. There are buses and trucks and mopeds and motorcycles and cars and walkers and bicyclists going every which way. I feel like we could stay here for a year and not walk down every lane. There's so many alleyways and streets and cool nooks and crannies. Seems like behind every door there's a hidden garden, um, central courtyard. Uh, seems like you can't walk more than a hundred feet without stumbling upon a really intricate temple or like ritual space. Every home, every business has its own little area dedicated to the gods where they're giving offerings, beautiful flowers, incense burning. 
Um, it's really, really cool, really special, very crowded, a uh, tiny bit overwhelming, and I look forward to learning more about it. This is a traditional Balinese offering. Incense and flowers and things, but also sometimes cigarettes, candies, and biscuits. And it's for the under gods, so that they don't, like, harm the home or the people inside. There are tons. It's actually rare not to see them in front of places. Well, there it is. Look at that. I know. Offering to the monkey dog. <laughs> they are. They're like, these are for me. Yeah. He's just back something out. He's sniffing it. He's like, they're like humans, the way they eat. Like, he's pulling some plastic open with his mouth and with a candy in it. He's gonna go up here and check his basket. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Like, that one's up. Today is a special holiday here in Bali. Um, the ancestors have come back to visit a week ago and today is the day that they just they ascend back into the um, other world. And it's a big ceremony. Lots of people are coming to the temple today to honor their ancestors. Cremation is very important to the society and the community and it's the fastest way to release the soul from the body and then they take the ashes and then they eventually take it down to the sea and release it there um, and so uh, and then they collect the sea and bring it back so it, it's released into the world and then it knows when it's to be uh, reincarnated to come back to the house. The reincarnation into something more perfect or more beautiful later. Sacred Bali trees connecting heaven and earth. Right here by the highway. <laughs> it's pretty beautiful, natural canopy. Here we are in the sacred monkey forest uh, in Ubud and there are tons of these adorable, if not mischievous monkeys all around. There's some that are even nursing with their mamas. It's so cool. I own two little monkeys. Your parents let you have that? Are they crazy? Okay, where are we? We are at Sunshine Tattoo in Ubud. I am getting a couple of tattoos. A couple? Yes. I'm going to be getting um, a yoga tattoo on my wrist. And then um, I hit my 5,000 miles of sailing. And so I'm going to get my swallow on my shoulder. So cool. Uh, are you excited? Yes. Have you ever had a tattoo before? Yes. <laughs> Are you nervous? No. Okay. Probably the food. It was definitely a cultural experience. We, the hustle and bustle of the city and so much to see and take in like everywhere you look. Outside is the hustle and bustle. Inside is where you come to kind of recharge and rejuvenate and uh, take care of your soul, I think. It's really, really important. Like the, everything is carved. Every little bit of stone you see is carved into something that has meaning. Awesome. My favorite part was, well, I mean, I loved everything, but cats at our Airbnb. Oh, we are going to hang out later. I'm going to pet you like a thousand times, too. What was your favorite part? The monkey. Did you have fun here? Would you come again? 
Oh, for sure, yeah, I loved it. All right, Jesse, did you have fun? I did, I had an amazing time. The energy in the air, the, the hustle and bustle wouldn't work if everyone wasn't kind. You can play, little Lily? No. Um, you can play, yeah. Okay. Let's see. It's okay. No problem. You can play. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. We had a blast recording it. Ubud is a great place to visit if you're ever in Bali. So much fun. Definitely gives you the sense of the yin and yang in life. If you ever get a chance, you've got to go and explore it. Speaking of taking it a chance, hit that subscribe button. I promise you won't regret it. And it really helps us out. It means the world to us to know that you're out there enjoying our videos. It keeps us motivated to keep making them, to keep traveling, and to keep exploring. We hope to see you out there exploring the world one day. And for all of those of you at home who are wondering, where is Nate in this video? Well, sometimes a captain's got to do what a captain's got to do. He had to stay back on the boat to do some repairs and keep the boat safe while the seven of us went exploring. <laughs>